Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My dear students, Assalamu alaikum. I hope you are fine and healthy and very busy in your studies. Why? Because you have received your course outline for annual examination. So this is my sincere advice to you. Don't waste your time and pay attention to your studies. In today's class, I will revise the remaining tense of the grammar portion. In previous class, as I taught you, you have three basic main parts of the tense that is present, past and future. And in previous class, I taught you simple tense. Okay, Vita? I taught you simple tense. And in today's class, I am going to revise continuous tense. Right? Which tense you will revise in revision class? Continuous tense. So, look at the table for continuous tense. For present tense, just after subject, you will write... Auxiliary verb that is helping verb is R, M. For singular noun you will use here is and for plural R. And M is used with I. Okay. Then object. So look at example number 1. Asma is subject as I told you. This one is the auxiliary verb or helping verb. Asma is driving a car. In this sentence, you will use first form of verb with ing. Drive, driving. First form of verb. Asma is driving a car. This is affirmative sentence. If you are going to make negative of the present continuous tense so what will you do just after this auxiliary verb you will add here not asma is not driving a car this is negative sentence if you are going to make interrogative of the same sentence so this auxiliary verb that is helping verb will come before the Subject, as I have mentioned here, you are looking here in this example, is Asma driving a car? And at the end of sentence, you must put here sign of interrogation. Okay? Is Asma driving a car? Sign of interrogation. Look at next example. We are going to Lahore. As usual, subject, then helping verb and auxiliary verb, then base form of verb, that is first form of verb, plus ing, as I have mentioned here, then object. If you are going to make into negative, then you will write here, we are not going to Lahore. Just after auxiliary verb, you will put here not. Look at the interrogative sentence. If you are going to make interrogative, so this auxiliary verb will come at the beginning of subject. That is before the subject. Beginning of sentence you will write here are before the subject. Are we going to Lahore? Then question mark at the end of sentence. This question mark is very necessary for interrogative sentence because it shows the sentence is interrogative. Right? Let's move towards the next tense. That is past continuous tense. Look at the structure. First you will write your subject. Then auxiliary verb or helping verb was or verb. Then base form of verb that is first form of verb with ing and then object. Now look at the example number one. Shamim was writing an essay. Subject then was then first form of verb with ing then object. This is affirmative. If you are going to make negative of the sentence you will write in between was that is helping verb and the main verb word not as I have written here 
Shamim was not writing an essay. Okay? Now, look at the same example for interrogative sentence. How will you make interrogative sentence of past continuous tense? You will write the helping verb before the subject. That is at the beginning of sentence. Was or what will come here? So, was Shamim writing an essay? And at the end of sentence, sign of interrogation. Okay, beta? This is the interrogative sentence. Let's move towards the next example of the same tense. You were buying a new car. This is affirmative sentence. If you are going to make it negative, so we'll put here not just after helping verb. Look at here. You were not buying a new car. Okay? Now, how will you make it interrogative? As usual, helping verb will come at the beginning of the sentence. That is before the subject. Were you buying a new car? Sign of interrogation. This is called the interrogative sentence. Were you buying a new car? Okay, beta? Okay, so the past continuous tense is ended here. We will move towards the future continuous tense. And structure for the future continuous tense subject that will be or shall be. Then first form of verb with ing and object. Look at example number one. Ali will be flying a cart. Kite. Ali will be flying a kite. Look at here, Ali is subject. And just after subject, we will write here will be or shall be. Then, first form of verb with ing and object. If you are going to make negative of the same tense, so what will you do? You will put not in between will or be. Look at this example. Ali will not be flying a kite. Okay? Ali will not be flying a kite. This is negative sentence. Now, Change the same sentence into interrogative. As usual, helping verb will come at the beginning of the sentence. Will Ali be flying a kite? And question mark at the end of the sentence. What it means? Ali, will Ali be flying a kite? Okay. Let's move towards the second example of the same sentence. Same tense. Simon will be taking medicine. This is affirmative sentence. If you are going to make negative, so you will put here not in between will or be. Okay? Simon will not be taking medicine. Okay? This is negative sentence. And for interrogative, will will come at the beginning of the sentence, that is before the subject. Will Simon be taking medicine and sign of interrogation? Okay, beta? This is the interrogative sentence. So, in today's class, what I taught you? I taught you how will you make the present continuous tense, past continuous tense and future continuous tense. I hope, beta, you understood it. Now the lesson, today's lesson, revision lesson is ended here. Okay.